Question number 20 is from electrostatics and it says a uniformly charged solid sphere of radius r has potential v0 with respect to infinity that means the normal convention has been followed on its surface. So I can write v0 is k q by r that's from the first data. For this sphere the equipotential surfaces with potentials so much have radius this much then we got to see the correct relation. Of course in this case the equipotential surfaces are family of spheres out of which the first one is very distinct because 3 V naught by 2 is the potential at the center so the first answer I'll get R1 as 0. 5 V naught by 4 is the potential greater than V naught so clearly it is inside the sphere so I'll have 5 V naught by 4 is K Q 3 R square minus R2 square by 2 R cube. Let's see 5 V naught by 4 is K Q can be written as V naught into R so that will be V naught by 2 that becomes R square so that will be 3 minus R2 square by R square. What I did is that I simply plug the value of KQ as V naught into R. So V naught into R that becomes R square. This would be 3 minus R2 square by R square. And on solving this, let's try to see that gives me that would again be 2. So this is 2.5 and that's 3. So that will become R2 square by R square if I take in this way 0 0.5 so quite obviously I can write that as 1 by 2 implying R2 as R by root 2. Now the third case 3 V naught by 4 and V naught by 4 these are the potentials having less than V naught so therefore these points must be outside the sphere. So for simplicity let me call this as equation 1 that would be equation 2 now 3 V naught by 4 would be K Q by R 3 and K Q can be written as V naught into R by R 3. So R 3 comes out to be 4 by 3 R that's equation number 3 and V naught by 4 likewise R 4 would be 4 times R that's equation number 4. Now I have the values of R1, R2, R3, R4 and putting here to see the validity that will give me option number 1. However, for this particular question, option number 2 is also correct because R4 is 4R and that's greater than 2R. So exceptionally for question number 20, we have two options matching. Question number 21 is from ray optics, prism given with angle of prism A, refractive index mu and the angle of incidence in the first phase is theta. It says light will be transmitted through AC, that means I do not want total internal reflection to happen in AC and for that the condition is required. I will take the usual notation R1 the inner angle here, R2 the inner angle here. So the first thing says sine theta is mu sine r1 so that will give me angle of refraction in this phase and once I know r1 I can find r2 which is a minus r1 and the condition required is r2 which is a minus r1 should be less than sine inverse 1 by mu so that the angle of incidence here is less than the critical angle. On playing with the simple relation you would come to the conclusion to option number 3. So for this particular question, question number 21, the correct option is third and this will allow us to go to question number 22 now.